I'll be honest with you. I never thought I'd ever show Bart Scott again in this channel. Because Guy is an absolute idiot. And I'm not even going to say that with a light heart at all. Um, you guys did not see my video last season when the DeMar Hamlin situation happened. He fully blamed T. Higgins, saying he did it on purpose. So, not even going to give a, you know, light commentary on him. He's an idiot. But, when I saw this on Get Up, I was like, alright, you know what? Let's enjoy my cereal, right? There's no good cartoons on. So I said, I'll listen to this guy. You know, because sometimes in life you need to listen to a little clown show, you know? It kind of gets you... It gets you throughout the day. You're like, wow. All the mistakes I made in my life. I'm not that stupid. I'm not that stupid. But he actually made some logical points here. So let's go ahead and listen to Bart Scott, which is something I usually don't say. Talk about ranking his top five quarterbacks in the NFL. Five oh. quarterbacks listen, in the this AFC. Is my list. This oh, is my list. list. Stay out of my DMs. Okay. What are we doing? Five to one? Start at five. Five to one. Who Number five, I'm going Lamar Action Jackson. No man has done more with less. You talk about his win percentage. The problem is he hasn't been on the field. But he is the greatest show, one man show, going in the NFL right now. A MVP. Now he has weapons. You think about OBJ coming there, Bateman back, Mark Andrews. I expect big things out of Action Jackson this year that, if he's on the I team. I was going to say, that assumes he's on the Ravens this yeah, I'm year, assuming which that. still to be determined. Number four. Josh Allen. Listen, this window was closing, right? He was supposed to be, supposed to be the Josh Allen takeover last year. They fell short of expectations. You know, brought in the, the Super Bowl whisperer and Von Miller. He plays at a high level. He's a dual threat. Hopefully they take a little bit off his plate by giving him a running game. But you can't deny that he is talented. He just has to get over the hump. How about number three? Oh, man, number three, A.A. Ryan. Welcome oh, to Gotham boy. City, baby. I tell you what, now he has weapons. He has a top five defense that's only going to get better. He has a plethora. Yeah, that's a college word. I learned mm -hmm. that in college, too, of weapons to go to, and he's all oh, scorched earth. Nothing like a scorched earth A.A. Ryan. Last time he did that, he won two. Not one, two consecutive MVPs. I feel like we got a pretty good handle on the top two, but let, let's hear number two. Yeah, I, listen, I, listen, I am a bona fide Bengals hater, but I can't deny uh. baby Macaulay Calkin, Joe Burrow <laughs> is that dude. He is the kryptonite to Patrick, my homeboy, and he has the best weapons in the division. In the AFC, you think about T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd, mm -hmm. and Jamar Chase. That window was closing. They went out and got him Orlando Brown Jr., so finally somebody can protect his six. Yeah, number one. I mean, come on, man. Come on. I mean, what Stevie we, Wonder we can see this one, man. Yeah. Yo, you're talking about Patrick, my homeboy. You talk about a guy that proved that he can win. He doesn't... I can't listen to him too much or else I get headaches because it's like, bro. All right, so... Let's go back to that list, right? So his list is as followed. Let me go ahead and take down this thing on the screen. Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, Aaron Rodgers, Joe Burrow, and then obviously Patrick Mahomes. Now, personally speaking, you know, age-old debate, who's better, Patrick Mahomes or Joe Burrow? Obviously, because Super Bowls, you would say... You know, Patrick Mahomes. I do also hate the argument people say, like, well, Joe Burrow is only good because of all the weapons he has. Like, Patrick Mahomes did not have Tyree Kill and Travis Kelsey his whole entire career. Anyway, though, obviously no longer Tyree Kill, but he had Tyree Kill for two seasons. Anyway, though, I got to say, this is not as crazy as I thought they w he would go here. To put Aaron Rodgers in a top five... I feel like is kind of crazy. Like, for example, this is how I would rank the quarterbacks. I probably would put Mahomes number one just because of, again, recent success. You're going to put him number one. Number two, I would say, obviously, is Joe Burrow. Three, I would say is Josh Allen. I don't know how you don't put Josh Allen as number three here. In what universe is Josh Allen better than, you know, freaking, is Aaron Rodgers better than Josh Allen? See, this is the kind of concept that I I understand but don't understand. You know, it's like, well, Rodgers won back-to-back -back MVP awards, so clearly he's the best, right? The guy has choked in the playoffs his whole entire career. The only time he made the Super Bowl 
was when he literally had to play a backup quarterback in the championship and backups to get there. Like, there's not... Listen, he's a good quarterback. He and my, He's a top 10 in my list quarterback. But if I'm talking about right now, Rodgers is not number three for me. Not even close to number three. I'd say he probably is number six or seven. There, I No, I, I cannot see the narrative on why Rodgers is number three. Allen should be number three. Allen is actually very freaking good. It has a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of good things to prove. Jalen Hurts should be up here over Aaron Rodgers. Come on now. Jalen Hurts has proven he's a great quarterback and has a lot to, you know, give. Um, come on. All right, so how I would rank it is, number one, obviously, Mahomes, Bro Burrow, Josh Allen. I'd probably put Jalen Hurts as number four. I couldn't put Jackson at number five. Jackson hasn't finished the last two seasons. Are you going to, like, at what point, right? We're in 2023. At what point are we going to stop talking about 2019? Like, I get it. In 2019, nobody knew who Lamar Jackson was. Nobody knew how amazing he was as an athlete to outrun defenses and destroy defenses. And when they tried to stop him, he was able to throw the football. I get that. But is that going to be his career? Well, he won MVP back in 2019, so that proves he's a, he's a Hall of Famer. I understand the fact that, yes, the guy had a 2019 campaign that was remarkable. <clears throat> he hasn't done anything since. He's won three in the playoffs. He hasn't finished the last two seasons. I mean, I get it on paper when he's fully healthy. With his mobility, he's an amazing player. But, like, I, I, can't, I can't see why we're putting him top five here. Top ten, yes. But to put him over Jalen Hurts, the guy who just went to the Super Bowl? Come on now. Stop playing with that one. So, yeah, I would put Jalen Hurts number four. Number five? I got to think about who I would put number five. Um, let me pull the list of the quarterbacks. Because my, my memory is absolutely god-awful. So, I'll forget somebody. Um, I'll end up forgetting somebody's name, and then I'll look back and be like, wow, I should have said that guy. Alright. Yeah. Mm. Actually, now that I think about it, let me think. When Tua, Tua is fully healthy, he's up there. I might, I might talk myself back into putting Jackson at number five here. I'll put Aaron at number five. I'll put Aaron at number five. I'll put Jackson at number six. I'll put Herbro at number seven. Then I'll put Tua at number eight. And again, this is if we're talking about healthy quarterbacks. We're not talking about quarterbacks who are, you know, not healthy and can't finish the season. I'm talking about quarterbacks who are not healthy. Yeah, God, I forgot how bad the quarter, how bad quarterbacks are nowadays. I know not bad, but like I feel like how this is how quarterbacks work, right? You got different tiers. You got the Mahomes, you got the Burrow and Allen tier, right? Actually, no, I'm gonna say Allen at this point. Burrow Mahomes tier. That's that's right S plus tier. Then you have the Allen. You have the Allen. The Jalen Hurts, um, who else I'm put in that tier? Jalen Hurts and Al probably just Jalen Hurts and Allen at this point. And then you have the uh, uh, Lamar Jackson, Aaron Rodgers, Herbo, Tua. You have that tier too. So I feel like it's just such a drop off though after the top tier. After you get off the Mahomes Burrow tier, you're just dropping off. So it's like dropping off a cliff. So you're going like this, that tier, dropped off. And this is why a lot of people say, you know, the NFC, for example, is, is up for the taking for anybody at this point because it's so weak. And then the AFC, it's, it's, it's so loaded because there's ev all the big-name quarterbacks that have any, like, value are in the AFC. But they're not that good in the AFC. That's the thing. They're not that great. 
Like, don't get me wrong, Tua's good. Tua is good when he's fully healthy. I'm not scared of Tua, though, to go in a game-winning drive and beat me. Like, if how I look at quarterbacks is like this, right? Who am I scared of going against every week? I would be scared against going to Mahomes. I would be scared going against Burrow. Allen? Yes. Kinda. Maybe. I'm I'm more scared about Allen just because I know you can never count him out. But he's also going to make two or three stupid mistakes in the game that could cost him the game. And I know if I play good, smart football and I keep the ball away from turning it over... He's probably going to turn it over one twice and, and, and do something stupid. So I'm not as scared. Again, that's what I say is a drop off. Jalen Hurts, I'm I say I'm more scared of Jalen Hurts than I am of Josh Allen. Just because I know Jalen Hurts, if all craps are loose and I, you know, I am just completely containing your pass game, he's going to run the football on me and beat me that way. I mean, he had four rushing touchdowns against the Saints that had the best rush defense in the NFL at the time. So like. He's all. He's almost to a point. You can make an argument. He's almost to a point where you put him in that S plus tier, but he's not there yet, right? He's all. He's getting up there though. You know, you have Josh Allen, who again there, and then you have Axon Jackson, who I think he is. He's a guy that is not that you're. You are scared if he has the ball on a game winning drive, but he's also not clutch, and that's my problem with Jackson. Is that if it's a game winning drive, he could beat you. He could. He could also overthrow a wide open fourth down, fourth and goal play to Mark Andrews when he's wide open and lose to the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's it's so it's very easy for him to do either or. So yeah, it, it, ranking quarterbacks for me is always weird because at the end of the day, obviously everything is situational football. Whatever happens in the game is what matters. But it's just ugh. I, it is such a huge drop off after the first two. There's just not it's not even close. Like Jalen Hurts is making it closer, but other than Jalen Hurts, it's such a drop off. That's why, in my opinion, this is my opinion. I don't think Allen, Lamar, or Rogers will ever win a Super Bowl. Like they won't, in the future, they won't win a Super Bowl. I don't think Allen can finish the job. I don't. I just don't think so. I think that Lamar. Although I like to say, you know, he has a lot of potential to be great. I don't think he can finish job either. And that's, it is what it is, you know. And some quarterbacks don't win Super Bowls. That doesn't mean no bad quarterback. Allen could be a Hall of Famer and never win a Super Bowl. Dan Marino never won the big game. Dan Marino was an amazing quarterback, but never won the big game. Burrow, I think, could win probably four or five, six, seven Super Bowls. Mahomes probably going to win another two or three. But unless we, again, and this at this moment in time right now, but in the future, based on what we understand, understand and are hearing, next year's class of quarterbacks are going to be that like that Andrew Luck Hall of Fame class. So maybe they change the whole ball game and then they end up becoming in that spot. But for right now, we have some pretty bad quarterbacks, I feel like, like when we come to a top 10 list. And I think Brady said it best. There's some ugly football out there. <laughs> Definitely some ugly football out there. But tell me down below your thoughts and opinions, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.